Okay, done. Hey everybody, welcome back. Pipe Squatch channel. This is the video number two on how to smoke a pipe. And there's one thing I forgot to mention in that first video of how to smoke a pipe where I taught you how to pack a bowl, well at least showed you the way I like to pack a bowl, uh, is to make sure that you don't have obstructions in your pipe. Uh, so even if you know it hadn't been smoked in a while, you cleaned it the last time you smoked it, just go ahead and run a pipe cleaner through it. Whoever invented a black pipe cleaner, I got this in a cheap pack uh, at a store. I think actually I got it on Amazon. And it had all these multiple colors. Black pipe cleaner? How am I supposed to tell if it's getting clean? Anyways, so just kind of push it through there. Make sure there's nothing in there <clears throat> obstructing your airway so you can get a good draw off of it. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention in the last video, so I'm talking about it now. Uh, then when you're done, just kind of <clears throat> blow out anything that may have been in there, which I just did and it's all over my desk now. So if you watched the last video, you saw how I packed the bowl. Uh, now it's time to actually do the false light. I kept calling it the char light the last time. I've heard people call it the char light. I've heard people call it the false light. I've heard, you could call it a fakie. I don't care what you call it. But basically what it is, is doing an initial light to the top of the tobacco where you're not actually going to start smoking it. So. Like I, it, the name implies, you're charring the top of the tobacco. And then you tamp it down lightly, let it go out. I haven't really heard anybody say whether or not it's supposed to look a certain way. Maybe I haven't dug deep enough. I like for it to be completely charred. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's still some brown in that bowl right there. So what I'm gonna do is do another little char light. Some people will say, hold the lighter there, the flame, whatever you use. If you use a match, make sure you light the match and then let it burn a little bit. Because if you don't, you're going to get that sulfur smell in, in your tobacco. You, you don't want that. Whether you use a match, a lighter, what have you, I've heard some people say two to three seconds is the, is the rule. I've actually had bowls where I've had to hold it there for five, six seconds to actually get that char going. But once it, it, it's there, and once it's gone out, tamp it down a little bit with whatever tamper. I'm still using that cheap tamper from Amazon. <clears throat> I've got the nail one. I've got the one that every pipe store has. It's kind of like a switch, not a switch blade, a butterfly knife, anyways. Also, my old boy lighter. Oh, I love this lighter, by the way. Has a tamper on the bottom of it. You can kind of tamp down with that. Also remember, when you're doing that char light, you want to take the match or the lighter and do it in a circular motion so you're kind of giving that even char. So you don't have the, the brown bits and all that stuff in there. After you've done the char light, do a test draw again. I'm getting a good bit of air through there. It's not restricted, so I know I got a good pack in there. So once you've tested that it's got a good draw on there and you're getting good airflow through and it's not obstructed, let's go ahead, you can go ahead and start smoking, which we'll talk about in the next video. But I want to discuss a little bit more about that char light and the importance of it. So that char light, false light, fakie, pseudo light, incognito light, the spy, undercover, whatever you want to call it, that false light, that charring you do at the beginning, it's there for a number of different reasons. You don't just want to, after you pack a good bowl, light it up and go to town. A lot of times, you're doing it right if you have to relight it because you're taking your time. But if you do a good pack and then you do that char light and you tamp it down after that, you may not have to, and I say may, may not have to relight as often. And you may be able to enjoy that bowl all the way through without a relight, maybe towards the end, and that's it. And all this comes down to that technique, what I just showed you, the circular motion, making sure it's all charred at the top and then tamping it down. One of the reasons for that char light is remember in the first video of how to smoke a pipe I did where I squeezed the tobacco and I let it go and if it stayed squished, it was a little too moist. If it started to expand, perfect. If it just crumbled in my hands, too dry, right? Well, if you have it a little bit on the wet side, so it's a little bit too wet, 
and you still want to go ahead and smoke that tobacco without drying it out too much or it's just kind of in between that just right and too wet part that char light's going to help get some of that moisture out of that tobacco you'll see when you do that initial char light the tobacco will raise kind of like it expands when expanded when you let go of it with your fingers it's going to do the same thing in the bowl now you got to remember too when you go to tamp that bowl after you've done the false light the charring light i'm not going through them again after you've done that char light then this is where a lot of people screw up you could have done the greatest packing job ever you got your your technique down pat you you're you're like a fine oiled machine you're like the nascar uh pit crew of packing bowls if you tamp that down too hard after the char light you've totally screwed up that packing job you've made it too tight and you're not going to get a good draw so make sure you don't tamp it down too hard uh, you may want to twist a little bit to kind of get everything even but it doesn't take a lot just tamp it on down sounds like a song tamp it on down now when you go to relight again after that char light you shouldn't have any of that expansion happening I'm not going to see it until the editing. Hopefully there wasn't any expansion as I relit that. If you want to tamp it on down right then, uh, mine really didn't need it. So I've got a good light going there. And now it's time for me to enjoy the rest of this bowl. So the next video is going to be actually the smoking. The part we've all been waiting for. What we want to do with this tobacco in our awesome pipe. Stay tuned for the next video. It'll be coming out soon probably within a day or so. I want to get these out pretty quick so people aren't going, hey, where are the rest of these uh, how to smoke a pipe videos? Uh, anyways, take care, be safe. I still don't have a sign off. We'll figure it out. I'm just gonna smoke the bowl while the music plays. Same time again.